my colleagues, uh, you can see all the, you have the record of all of us who are in court because we follow the court proceedings. First of all, we want to thank uh, the Almighty God because he has given us an opportunity to be here today and to be witnesses of uh, the uh, growth of our country and the growth of the law, uh, rule of law uh, at even very difficult times. Uh, we want to thank the uh, court, particularly Justice Professor Joel Bugi, for his uh, ruling that is full of wisdom that um, has nullified what we consider and actually has been considered by the court to be detention without trial. As you very well know, uh, the magistrate court ruled on Wednesday that uh, Honorable Oscar Sudi was to stay in detention for another seven days, which would be a total of 11 days up to Wednesday uh, next week. Uh, we were dissatisfied with that decision. We moved to the higher court, which is the high court, and uh, we are happy to report that uh, the court has ruled in our favor, and uh, the court has ruled particularly and specifically that the practice that has been going on of arresting and charging people after 24 hours or detaining suspects or individuals or citizens for 5, 10, 15 days, whatever number of days, without any charge being brought uh, uh, before the court against them, is gross violation of our constitution. And gross violation of our constitution in all uh, clauses of our constitution that deal with that matter attract the highest penalty. And we want to thank the judge because he is a strong, uh, competent and confident judge who believes in the rule of law. The decision of Oscar Sudi today will go down in history as the, one of the best decisions in restating the true position of our constitution in so far, so far as our fundamental rights and freedoms. And I want to say without fear of any contradiction that even though our client has gone through uh, trials and tribulations with, uh, because of uh, utterances or um, allegations that are untrue, we want to say that even though he has gone through that pain, we have consulted him and he is happy that it was through him that a decision has been made that will solve the problem that we've been having in the country for a very long period of time where many citizens are being held without trial. And I believe that now with this decision, uh, many Kenyans, including all of us who are here, who are holding public office, can go about our business knowing that our judiciary, there are men and women in our judiciary who still believe in rule of law, who do not fear the state, who do not fear state power, who do not fear what they call deep state and systems, who believe that Kenya is under God and the rule of law. And that is really what this day is all about. Honorable Sudi is coming back to court on Wednesday. The judge has, has uh, ruled that Honorable Sudi will not address a rally uh, for now. Uh, until Wednesday when he appears before the court and a decision will be made whether he will be charged or not. It's after that that now he will uh, enjoy uh, again the freedom to be able to address uh, the public. So for now, kwa niaba ya wenzangu, kwenye wako hapa, tukependa kusema kwamba sisi kama wa Kenya na sisi kama mawakili na viongozi wenye tuko hapa, tumefurai sana kwa ile uamuzi ambayo Justice Joel Ngugi amefanya hapa, ameamua hapa na kuru ni ya kwamba yeye anasimamia haki ya kikatiba na ya kwamba wale ambao wamekuwa wakitumia vibaya uh, mamlaka ya kikatiba ambayo walipewa kunyanyaza wa Kenya na kushika watu bure na kuwafunga bila hata kupatia nafasi ya kupelekwa kotini sasa imesemekana kwamba hiyo ni ukiukaji uki kubwa sana ya katiba yetu na ya kwamba haifai kurudiwa na sisi tunataka kurudishia shukrani koti kwa sababu ya ile uamuzi wamefanya eh, ja, eh, eh, ndugu yetu Oscar Sudi eh, ata tutampatia yeye nafasi kushukuru tu aweze kuaddress mambo yenye tunasema hapa 
Yeye atasema asante kwa wale ambao wamesimama na yeye uh, kwa sababu hii sio rali atasema tu asante. Sasa unasema kwa roho mbele kwa hiyo waje aseme asante. Eh asante sana mruko mimi nataka nishukuru sana siku ya leo kwa sababu unajua nilileta hapa juma pili nimeshinda hapa nilikuwa mwana Kenya mwanafuata sheria kwa kusema left nilaenda left na leo nashukuru sana kwa sababu nilikuwa mwisho eh kwanza nataka nishukuru wakozi wangu sana na wengi wa support na wapinzi wangu wakiwa hapa au mawakili hakuna hata mmoja nilijiita lakini leo tukisimama nilikuwa na wakili 16 nataka nisema asante sana na pia nataka nisema asante kwa watu wengi wanawakilisha kule kabisa letu na wasingishu na Rift Valley na Kenya kwa sababu nilisema ya kwamba tutumisha amani na kuhakikisha kwamba sisi ni wale hatuwezi kuzishwa ili kutimiza amani eh, ya mwisho pia nimekuja hapa nilipata kusubiri ya nyingi sana na nilikuta kule ndani nikapata wa Kenya wengi wenye wameshindwa kuja baada ya 3500 kwa sababu ya uwezo wangu kidogo mimi nashukuru Mungu na hata kwa nimeeleza kule ndani ya kwamba mheshimiwa ni mzuri kukuja hapa ili sisi wengine tupate kwenye nyumbani nimetoa watu wa sisi watu zaidi ya 50 na moja na hiyo ni furaha yangu sana nilifika hapa na nikaanza kuendelea na uongozi na kuwa kwa nchi zingine pia kwa uwezo wa Mwenyezi Mungu nimejifunza mambo mbili tatu ni lazima tutegemee pia baada ya hivi asanteni sana Mwenyezi Mungu we, we just want to uh, to add that for anyone who was hoping that he was going to use state power to intimidate any leader or any citizen of this country from standing firm on issues that affect this nation. We are uncowed, we are unbowed, we are going to continue speaking on the issues that are affecting our nation because we were elected as leaders to do so. So don't think that you will scare us, don't think that you will intimidate us, don't think that you are going to make us uh, weaker. I can tell you without fear of contradiction that we have become even more stronger because of this process that our brother has gone through. Mungu wabariki na asanteni sana. Thank you. Where is that? Probably the next line and I have to add on. Gates are open. She can't pack a gate. 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 She
niaba ya ndugu yetu Oscar Sudi ambaye kwa kwa sasa hawezi kuongea kusema namna hii sisi tunasema asanteni sana kwa wakenya wote ambao walimwambia mheshimiwa Oscar Sudi ndipo <laughs> kufanya kazi yetu ya kuhakikisha nyinyi wote mmetetewa na kazi yenu imetekelezeka na hiyo safari ya kwenda huko mbele lazima iendelee kwa hiyo mimi nasema asanteni sana mtukubalie leo hatutasema maneno mengi Oh, what's up? 